We are having a cluster of the earthquakes in the vicinity of the Krisovik uh, volcanic system. Uh, it happened today, as you can see, we have around uh, 20 to 30 earthquakes, and we can count them. Uh, at the depth of the 8 to 5 kilometers, uh, these are small earthquakes. Some of them are bigger, but most of them are small. These are tectonic earthquakes, uh, rocks are moving and pulling apart by the forces of the uh, you know continental drift this is the contact point of the eurasian and the american plates uh, eurasian plates is moving uh, eastward and as it moves uh, through the transform faults transfers the movements toward the east this is Inside the Eurasia, the boundary part you can see in the red line, Eurasia is where this earthquake is happening and the eruptions are happening there. When it moves and through the pool, it creates and rips practically the ground, the earth crust, and creates what we call as rift. This rift you see there is the location of these eruptions. And over time, as this rift moves and ripping moves from one point to next one, eruptions happens in sequence from the first to the second and the third. These are the volcanic systems in that area. Uh, at the moment, the volcanic system in the sourcing area is getting filled up uh, under the reservoir with the magma. It will fill up as much as it can erupt. When it drains and it cannot erupt anymore, because every time it needs more pressure, more magma actually, to build up to create the same level of eruption. So over time, you practically gradually seize, you know, and gets weaker. So when that gets weaker, this is the term for Krisovic, the eruptions will happen there.